So now let's put that into a chord progression so we get a chance to practice that. So what I'm going to do for this, we're going to do a rock strum. Back to the rock strum. Getting the rock strum programmed. Grab your guitar, let's have a go and have a go, have a little play through this. So I'll count you in for two bars. So the progression will be two bars of C, two bars of A minor, two bars of E minor, two bars of G, then repeated. Let's have a go at that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. To A minor, real easy change. E minor, into G. Those chords work really well together. Now you might notice if you have a look at the way I change from C to A minor here. I left two fingers where they were. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, let's just show you that little trick there. C to A minor is really common. And the way we do that is we put our fingers on a C chord. So do that for me now. Press down the shape, but just release now to go to the A minor. We're only going to release the third and fourth fingers. Okay, so we're keeping our first and second fingers remaining in the same position. You might just have to bring our second finger over a little bit to squeeze our third finger in underneath for the A minor chord. Back to a C. Take your fingers off, back to an A minor underneath. Do this with me. Back to a C chord now. So bring that finger up a little bit, bring those fingers across, push down, give it a strum. Release slightly, get your fingers back, push down, A minor. They work together really well. So obviously that's that what we have going on in our progression. So make sure you put that into the progression, especially when we're doing our jam track.